Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And today I'm really excited to announce my new pack, which is 3D title and text preset for After Effects. They are all drag and drop and super easy to use. Comes with 11 titles, pre animated, and everything is done for you. You just gotta like change the custom layer and you are done. By the way, this pack requires Element 3D, which is a plugin for After Effects. So make sure you have it before downloading. So this is the title right here I made in just like like two or three clicks and it will be done and ready for you so i'm gonna show you how to create a title like this using the pack so i'm gonna create a new composition right here with my uh, video layer and i'll lower down this opacity of this video layer so it's like barely visible so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new text and write whatever your title is the music video title in my case i'm gonna just like uh, write like title to showcase and i'll change this font to something cool or oh, one other quick thing when you download my pack it also comes with a lot of this preview to see how your title looks before using it so you can get the idea and here there's a font name too so you can use the same font if you like so it matches like perfectly you can just start a search up on google with this font name and it should pop up and you can download from there so i'm gonna change the font to amador so let's just pop into after effects amador of course i have it like already installed into my computer if you don't you can just search up on google and install it and then i'll scale it up something like that and i'll just line it up on our skin using the alignment align it perfectly in the center like that then i'll duplicate this layer and add another text this should be your artist name which will be on the bottom so artist name and you can just change the font to something else i'm gonna go with akira expanded and lower down the size of it so after this done we're gonna just hide this both of this our text layer and create a new solid so solid right here and then just open up your effects and preset go over to animation preset and go over to user preset and if you install my preset pack you can see asim nawak 3d title preset pack and 4k and sd i'm gonna go use the sd one and and from here you can drag in whatever preset you want they are all super fire so i'm gonna use fave for now my favorite one so let's just drag it right here and right away your solid will be gone and your screen will be blank for now that's completely fine so to enable our 3d text we're gonna go over to custom layers go over to custom text and marks and in path one i'll set it as my 3d title and for the path two i'll set it as my artist name so right after that if i hit play you can see this crazy 3d title ready to go it's that simple and easy let me just show you the details and the bevels it's crazy bro i put there so much work on this pack and surely this is my favorite pack i have ever made till now you can just look at the title like it's really high quality and that's just in one or two clicks so now you can leave it right here but i'm gonna customize it way more further and show you more feature of it maybe like drag in other other presets too so the first thing i like to do is just scale up my text layer so my 3d title also scales up i guess it's a bit like small for me another thing i like to do is disable both of these glow like remove you can remove it and if you have deep glow or optical glow you can use those i like to use optical glow and i'll go into highlights only and lower it down and bring up the size and lower down the amount and you can see after that optical glow it looks so cool man also if you don't see your background you can just go to alpha channel and set it to extended all mold and now we can see our background and our text let me just like lower down the amount a bit more yeah that's perfect so after the optical glow if i play it through that looks totally insane to me like that's on like few clicks bro if you want you can take it one step further as well you can just disable optical glow for now and go into element scene setup and in here if you like you can just mess around with the bevels and also like change the color if you like so to change the color i'll go over to the material in the extrusion model and in edit i'll scroll down until i see the diffuse color right here and you can just change around with the colors of it so let's just make it green for example and i'll also go into my chrome material and scroll down go to emanation and change the color to green as well and you can also play with like the extrusion and stuff 
as you like like that and if you have pro shaders you can use materials from there so i will go into metals and you can drag in like any material you like maybe i'll lower down the glossiness layer of it and that looks super cool the texture it adds is insane copy the same thing into my another chrome and you can also change around with the environment so if you like you can like change around all of these if you like maybe something like that so the possibilities are endless with this bag and if i like quit out of here you can see this crazy new look we just created in like few minutes we can turn on the glow as well like that it's like a bit dark so i'm gonna go to render setting go to physical environment and rotate the environment a bit so the light is facing where our text is also if you like you can add some like different 3d models graph from sketchfab and stuff so yeah that's it for today's video guys this was like a quick run through about my pack which is really cool the link will be in the description if you want to download so yeah see you in next video peace